whether it's racing to breeding. There's just so much that I love about the whole industry. But the excitement of success was the biggest drug. There's nothing that replaces the buzz of race riding. Well-mannered, serious, dedicated. Loyal, consistent, reliable. Very few people you will meet ever in your lifetime have those traits as strong as Pat has. You couldn't say enough good things about him. I got on a horse, uh, I'd say I was about 12 years of age. From the minute I felt the speed of a thoroughbred, that's when I decided I wanted to be nothing else other than a jockey. He was apprenticed to a good man, Tom Lacey. He gave me an unbelievable start. He was a very special apprentice, rode very well, um, always a real gentleman, a lovely way about him. Didn't take long for him to be noticed. A vacancy arose and I snapped him up. Straight away you could see he was perfect. Johnny Murta was with me at that time as first jockey and I would always get an up-and-coming youngster to ride second fiddle to him. Oh, it definitely caught my attention, you know. <laughs> we were very, very competitive and when two people are like that in the one environment, we, we clashed a lot. I could see that he was very ambitious and having a second jockey that ambitious is not too good. I wanted to be like Johnny Murta, I wanted to be riding first choice. He came to me one day just after Michael Canaan had been lured away from Dermot Weld to, to go to Coolmore. He said, Dermot Weld has offered me the job. What do you think I should do? I said, my goodness, you can't turn that down. That's the, the, the job you want. You're the biggest stable in the country. You'll be champion jockey. From the very first year, he rode an awful lot of winners for me. Yeah, he hit the ground running. They're off. It was a union made in heaven in some respects. Billy Rowe and Pat Smollett striding away to an unprecedented Ford St. Ledger. With those big jobs come pressures, but there was never any doubt that Pat was going to deal with those pressures. Patrick Sullivan drifts the front with a victory out. Three, two, three. He blossomed. It is Grace Swallow who wins the derby for Pat Smollett and David Well. I was very fortunate to travel the world with Dermot and we had a lot of success, but if I was to pick one, it's the Epsom Derby and Harzen. When you start to dream of being a jockey, the first race that comes to your mind is the Epsom Derby, so to be able to achieve that was something very, very special. First, number six. Mullen, the nine times Irish champion jockey, has been diagnosed with cancer. I knew something was not quite right. Learned pretty quickly it was serious. But when you're told, it, it's just like being hit with a, a hammer between the two eyes. I'll never forget my wife Angela walking in. Frances had rang her. We were obviously waiting for the results of the scan. And I just knew by her reaction, by the way she looked at me, and it was, it was just devastating. Everybody was upset, still are. You hope that he'll be back. And as time went on, obviously, he wasn't going to return to the saddle. That was huge. When it was your life, it was everything that mattered. When it ends, it takes a bit of getting used to. Ascot or Champions Weekend, it's the good racing you miss. The good racing. Pat said, right, that's it, out of the way. I want everybody around me to be positive going forward. That's your soldier, man. There are no words to say how admiring I am of him, of how he has handled it. The last thing you thought was... <laughs> the way he's fought cancer reflects the way he rode horses, the way he rode with that determination, the will to win.
One of the nurses at the hospital said to me, you should do something about raising awareness of pancreatic cancer. Everybody put their heads together and we came up with what we came up with. It's not for me to beat AP or Paul or, or Charlie or to have one more right. It's for pancreatic cancer, it's for the research. But for me, it's for Pat's mother. To get that lineup of jockeys, nobody said no. They all just said yes straight away. It's something that I feel very proud to be involved in, and I think Pat should be very proud to have organised it all, and hopefully we'll make it a success for him. AP Mackay swore he'd never ride again, came back for Pat Smullen. That was a special weekend. It was a miserable day weather-wise, but 10,000 or more people turned out for that day. I don't think we will ever see an atmosphere at the Curra ever again like that. They came to say thank you for a wonderful career that he had had in the saddle. To see the competitive juices starting to flow within the mall again was something uh, quite amazing. It was actually quite amusing to watch. I'd never seen it before, to be honest, that they were running from the stands to get down to the paddock to see him come back into the winner's enclosure. And that was something very, very special. It was a great spectacle. It was so well attended, it was such a feel. Would have been good just to beat him one more time. We're after raising an enormous amount of money that will make a huge difference going forward and, uh, and it gives people confidence to keep going forward as it does to me. And, uh, but what a privilege to be involved in what a great industry. I've been involved in the past for trying to raise money and you raise 20, 30,000 and you think you've done something fantastic and then you see somebody whose story encourages people to contribute into millions. It was a testimony to what people thought of Pat Smullen and the way that he's prepared to take on and fight against cancer. There is nobody more deserving of the award than Pat Smullen this year. He's been nine times champion jockey riding for me. His work ethic has been huge and his total involvement here has been very much appreciated. He gave it all in every way and that's the way he is as, as a human being. So I owe Pat Smullen a lot. He set me up in business, we became great friends and even got me a wife out of it. If you got a young jockey in and you said, just be like Pat Smullen. You wouldn't have to tell them anything else. What more can you ask for somebody uh, to be the, the, the one that everybody should aspire to be like? <laughs> He's the professional's professional. I'd like to think that throughout the 25 years that I was a jockey that I conducted myself in a, in a proper manner and, uh, and I think that, uh, that's something to be proud of.